How's it going? Nice to see you again on a pretty perfect evening on the Isle of Wight. I'm back on the ballet run. Back for Beach Talk as always. Thanks for joining me. Now, one of the greatest financial lessons that I've ever learned and that stuck with me is from Seth Godin, the master. And that is to only borrow to buy something that's going to go up in value. So that rules a lot of things out. Now, I've kind of lived my life on the basis of buying stuff on a credit card and paying off the credit card in one go. So the credit card is just a convenient way of grouping things. Good for personal administration. But the borrowing to buy anything effectively other than property was a revelation, I suppose, because I read it at a time when I was just packed in the corporate space, just moved from a flat to a house, just had our first kid and my wife's on maternity leave and you can see there's just a temptation to borrow to finish off a house finish off a renovation not just on the credit card but like a structured loan or something and or for a car or for all these things that life throws at you and I get it I understand it it's convenient it's easy it's so well marketed not just by finance companies but also from everyone else who's selling stuff and I find that as a life lesson it just made me so debt averse on a personal level and like anyone else who's bought into this whole Seth Godin piece that life is going to chuck you curveballs but if you want something save up for it and avoid the temptation of debt now it's something that also as an FD I've translated this into businesses I work with a lot of them raise equity a lot of them put their own money into it, so it's more like a director's loan into the company. And some of them borrow. They borrow debt, and obviously with COVID, we've had a couple of years of businesses hit with a shock. Business closing down and lockdowns and just not able to trade and facing varying degrees of debt from bounce-back loans and C-bills, but also um, taking debt from friends and family and other other providers and I apply the same mindset in a way which is it's not quite Seth Godin's only borrow to buy something that's going to go up in value but actually as a business and a business owner if you're faced with the decision of do I take on debt you've got to ask yourself what's the debt for because if your business is taking on debt just to cover losses it's almost like a rescue package just to keep the lights on if you're taking on debt just to increase or expand your cost base but it actually doesn't add to your bottom line well you're going to find at some stage paying off this debt is going to become expensive and difficult for your cash flow to actually manage so it's a simple decision from from a debt averse fd that if you're going to take on debt think of seth godin think of the push of the, what's going up in value is that actually although you're not buying a house in this example you're going to use the debt to change something push something that does drive profitability or improves profitability and restructures your business. So when it comes to repaying this debt, it's just not going to feel like it's soaking up all the cash flow that you make from profits. If you've got any comments on this one, I know everyone has their own kind of personal take on personal debt as well as from a business point of view. As always, it'd be great to hear comments and your experiences as to how you feel or how do you process the temptation or the reality as always, thanks for listening as well, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for now.